Hello Blender users, this is Samuel Bernou and here is a demo of the real pencil add-on. It adds a 3D pen at the cursor position in the viewport, so it can be used for screencasting, demo, or just for fun. So let's dive into it. The full version and the model pack version of the product come with a whole pack of pen models optimized to be performant and good looking in any shading mode. Those product versions also have a blend file containing handcrafted paper models with ready-to-use settings for a nice drawing session. The scroll also have an unroll animation. Once the add-on is activated, you will find the panel under the View tab. Just click on Init Pencil to bring everything in your scene and then just click on Start Control. When a grease pencil object is selected, the pen follows the current drawing plane. You can show it by activating the canvas in the overlays and then going to draw mode, you can change it here. Okay. You see that the pen is following that plane and then going back to top view. You can change how the pen behaves with the target and align options. Also, if you don't want to use the tilt of the tablet or if you just have a mouse, just disable the use tablet tilt to have a fixed angle that you can change here. To better see what's happening with the away distance, let's quickly set a better setup with a plane to have cast shadows. And you can see that when drawing, the pen is going into contact with the drawing plane. Even more obvious when cranking at the away distance you can set it to zero if you want it to never leave the surface. Depending on your settings, you might want to adjust the scale of the pen. Let's put it to 30 here, and then you can adjust the roll since it cannot be detected by the tablet inputs. Now that we've seen the display settings, let's switch to the ink pen and talk about the pen motion capture tool. Bringing up the timeline here, and once I've hit the playback, I can record my movements. Now I'm disabling the record, going back, and when I hit play you can see that there is uh, an empty following my previous movements. And we'll have several options now. You can clear the animation to start over, or create another take, or even appending the currently selected objects onto the empty. So this is useful also if you want to, for example, add a, a little object on the tip of the empty and that way you can make dynamic paint or anything. You need to be aware of some limitations. First, the most important, it disables the autosave while in control, meaning you should not work on any important file or you should save often. You can swap the area, meaning you can't maximize or minimize the area, it will throw an error, but in this case you just have to hit the stop and start again. And this tool was designed to work with grease pencil, so it works with other modes and objects, but it's best using in that modes. Let's quickly go over the preference. You have the choice if you're left or right-handed, it just affects the initial roll of the pen, some troubleshooting section for the tablet detection, the behavior of the cursor you can choose, and then you can open the blends of the pencil library. In here, you will find instruction to add your own model, but you can already customize the existing one. For example, let's add the finishing touch on the default pen. Much better. So that reached the end of this demo. I hope you will have fun doing your own with the real pencil add-on and see you next time.